Hey guys, and welcome back to another series of Don't Starve. This is going to be season six. Can you believe six series of Don't Starve? Unbelievable. I, I've realized this is one of my favorite all-time games. I really love playing this. Um, this series is going to be a bit different. Uh, first of all, let's talk mods. I'm going to be using a few more mods in this series. And I've put all of the mods that I'm using into a collection, and you can find that in the video description. So we've got st uh, storeroom, which gives you an extra large, um, an extra large chest, effectively. Uh, the always on status, it just gives you the numbers next to your uh, hunger and health and whatever. I have to find that useful. Uh, auto retrap, kind of useful. It, like if you pick up a trap, it'll just place it automatically. Uh, craft pot. Now this is a this is a new one. I've just picked this up, and it, it it helps to show you like what recipes you can make with the with the stuff you've got. Uh, I'll be interested to see how that works. Um, display view food values just just tells you what what uh, what values food has, like like how much it restores sanity and health, etc. Uh, and hunger. Yeah, geometric placement just helps you when you when you're laying out a base or something. Map revealer. Now I'm keeping this loaded, and it's in the collect in the collection. The only time that I would use this is if, like in the last series, when I'd sailed all over the freaking map and I couldn't find the volcano because the volcano is tiny, and it, it can take a hell of a long time to find. And part of what's going to be different about this series is that I'm going to have some specific goals in mind. It, I, I'm going to try and get the series moving a little bit quicker. Um, so. Like, if I can't find the volcano, I may use that. We'll see. Uh, Minimap HUD. Uh, like, just puts the uh, the map up here in this area. Uh, season text. Just shows you how many days you've got in the, se in the season. Sort inventory. This is another new mod that I've just loaded up. And basically, you press the Z key and it sorts your inventory into, like, tools. Tools and weapons. Food. And then other crap. Nice and simple. Um, sticky re recipe, uh, you can just select a recipe and it will just show you the ingredients that you need to collect at the bottom of the screen. Uh, the screenshot, that's not in the collection. Uh, and wormhole marks, this I find useful. Uh, not so much in Shipwrecked, but um, certainly in Reign of Giants. And we are going to be in the Reign of Giants world. Oh yes. Right, let's apply that. And let's go and let's start a new game. New game. And we're going to play as, or this is, we're going to start in Shipwrecked. And we're going to play as Wendy, the bereaved. Abigail, come back, I'm not done playing with you. She's haunted by her twin sister. And, uh, but it's like, um, it's like, it's like, it's like a pet class. Because you, you can, uh, you can tank with Abigail and stuff. It's very, very cool. Um, she's comfortable with darkness. She gets, uh, I think, 25% less sanity drain in darkness. But she doesn't hit very hard. So, yeah, it's an it's an interesting character to play. Like, totally different from the other characters I've played. That's why I wanted to play Wendy. Right, so we're going with Wendy. And I'm going to change the world slightly. We are going to have a slightly longer mild season. Simply so I can get more done quicker. Because, um, I like, like I said, I want to get this series moving. I don't want to be hanging around. Uh, I want to be able to get more done. And I'm going to make the monsoon slightly shorter. So, the mild season is going to be slightly longer. The monsoon is going to be slightly shorter. Because, frankly, it just pisses me off. And um, I'm going to make two other changes. If we go over here, reeds, I'm going to make the world have more reeds. Now, this is going to mean that there will be reeds... Uh, appearing in other biomes other than just in marshes and there's a reason for that which I'll explain and the other thing that I'm going to change is bees I'm going to have more bees so we're going to have more bees and more honey now in the on my last shipwreck map there were three beehives on the entire map and I don't want that situation happening again so we're going to have more beehives uh, those are the only changes that I'm going to make. Now, what, do, what, is, what is that going to mean? Well, it's going to mean that making honey poultices is going to be, like, like should be pretty dead easy. Uh, it means that I'm going to be able to have a decent honey farm, and it's going to mean that we should have lots of reeds available to make blow darts and whatever, which I think I'm going to be making use, use of. Should we start? Let's get going. Uh, yes. 
Here we go. I I'm so excited. Now, by the way, if this um, if this little scene annoys you, which it kind of does me, just hit the space bar and it'll skip it. So there you go. Right. Uh, I'm going to get on right and start uh, and start collecting stuff uh, while I talk to you about what we're going to try and achieve in in this series. Uh, and it's going to be like. I want to get into the ROG world like pretty quick because I've never played ROG. Um, I've done, well, I, that's not strictly true. I have had a little tinker about, but I mean seriously, like a little tinker about. I haven't taken on any of the big mobs or anything like that. So this is going to be like kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I can make an axe. Cool, excellent. So short-term goal for this series is to get mobile as soon as quickly. Oh, great. And I just got hit by a coconut. Awesome sauce. So, uh, short-term goal is um, to get mobile. And that means getting a nice boat. And not just any boat. I want to get a cargo boat and I want to get a cargo boat quickly. Now, that means getting um, uh, the first... Well, the first couple of levels of Science Machine. I'm going to have to get into the habit of actually kiting mobs, like properly, with, uh, with, uh, with Wendy. Certainly until I get Abigail. Uh, let's see, let's have a bit of a, an explore around this island. How big is it up here? And you can see there's lots of bees around, which I'm very pleased about. Very pleased that we've actually got some blooming bees. So yeah, so uh, we need the cargo. We need the cargo boat now. It means we need the the, um, the two science machines. We need the um, the first science machine, and then we need the um, the alchemy machine, so that we can research and prototype uh, the uh, the cargo boat. So so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to be collecting coconuts because coconuts initially make a pretty decent food. So, we're going to be grabbing a little bit of that. Now, you can see down here, Abigail's flower. Now, right now it's wilted. right? But that will eventually bloom in the next two to four days. And when it does, we can, uh, we can bring back, we can carry out a little ceremony and we can bring back Abigail's ghost. <laughs> Which is going to be very cool. Because once we get Abigail's... Um, Abigail's guys um, we can kind of uh, it well it opens up several things I mean not only can you kind of tank stuff um, or use Abigail's guys to, to tank stuff while you kind of either kill it or like do like do like damage from range or whatever um, but it also opens up things like it's faster than certain mobs so you can use it to you can use the guys to like chase down uh, mobs that you couldn't normally catch so for example like rabbits and stuff normally rabbits will outrun you but not with Abigail Abigail can outrun them oh got a nice nice banana got a bit of food going on uh, any of the big trees around let's chop the big trees down first we're gonna need a fair old amount of wood let's get another axe going I've only got We've only got three flint, and we're going to need a fair old amount of flint for the various tools and things that we're going to need. So, the first thing I want to do, and the first thing you should do, is like fully explore your island and find out how much flint you've got. Now, if, you, if you're short of flint, or you can't find like any flint, do remember that these limpet rocks... Uh, if you break those, they will give you flint. And they'll actually give you like quite a lot of flint. Now, we haven't got a whole hell of a lot on this island. It's a pretty small island. So we want to get off here ASAP. So, let's go nautical. Let's have a log raft. Bang it in the water. And we're going. We are, we're not going to hang around. Now, it's, it's early evening, so I'm probably not going to go like too far from shore. But we're going to have a paddle around, and we'll see if we can find another island that we can go to. Now, the seaweed down here, I'm going to eat... 
Now I'm going to eat that egg. And I'm going to grab seaweed. Because we're going to need some seaweed. Hopefully fairly soon. To get, um, to get a, a, a suit of seashell armour. And where there's... Ah, see. Where there's seaweed, there's, it's usually close to land. And we've got another island. Awesome. Right. Let's get the hell off here. And what, what I'm looking for initially is gold. We need five gold, like, pretty darn quick. Like, as quick as we can get it. Then we can craft the two science machines. And then we can get, um, we can get our boat. We can get, like, cloth sails. And then we can start exploring, like, uh, like, like really actively. And we're going to be pretty nomadic at first. So we'll, we'll make a little base and we'll probably have a... A crock pot and a few bits and pieces but we're probably going to leave it behind like pretty much straight away and just go exploring look we've got reeds haha <laughs> reeds and they're not in uh, in a marsh so there you go right twigs grass we're gonna need like plenty of so we're gonna just run around I'm gonna grab a bunch of this grass while it's all close together we've got a bunch of coconuts we've got um, a couple of limpets so we've got some food to eat that's good um, I did pick up a reed I, yeah I'm gonna pick these reeds up I may end up dumping them now if I can find a gold quickly I'll make a backpack if not I'll make a thatch pack to kind of tide us over and I'm already looking at it and thinking yeah I think I'm gonna have to make a thatch pack so we'll see Let's see. It's almost night time. So always check that you can make a, a campfire or a torch or whatever. Loads of shells around here. That's good. We're already up to 13 shells. So shells and uh, some seaweed. We should be able to make ourselves some, some armor, which would be very good. Right. Let's make ourselves a torch. And what are we going to do tonight? I'm like... I'm just going to, I think, eat these seeds up out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to eat these seeds, just get rid of them. And we're going to carry on and spend our first night just running around, exploring this island and just gathering stuff. Because there's kind of there's kind of no reason the first night to just, like, like, camp in. So you don't need a campfire or anything like that, just... Just get yourself a torch. It'll last. Like the nights are really short in the mild season, so you can just have a run around it and get stuff done instead of sitting around doing nothing, which is not good. So, well, look at that. We've got 19 shells already. Unbelievable. Right, because of our limited space, I'm going to let that torch just burn out because I haven't got room for the darn thing anyway. So, we'll carry on. Grabbing this stuff. Now, I'll show you that sort thing. If I press Z, right, so, like, it, it, everything's mixed up. If I press Z, look, puts my tools at this end, then food, and then everything else. Which is very, very cool. Let's equip our axe. Uh, mature palm trees, I'm going to chop down. Because I want the wood, and I want the coconuts. What do I want the coconuts for? Uh, for food. Because we'll... Now, you can't eat them as they are. You have to chop them in half. And then, ideally, you want to cook them. But then, they make um, they make pretty good food. Um, yeah, grab that. Yeah, we'll chop that tree down as well. Now, the other thing from chopping these trees down is uh, that we're getting palm leaves. Now, I think we're going to have to make a thatch pack. Uh, let's see. Survival, go down to the bottom, and we should see, yeah, thatch pack. It's just um, four uh, of these palm leaves. So, should we, yeah, let's just, like, what the hell? I think we can afford to do that. And then we can grab this. And you can actually toggle on and off whether or not you want your pack sorted. So, if you want, you can put, like, special items in your pack, and then tell it not to sort those. And I can't remember what key it is to do that. I can't remember what that toggle is. So, yeah, whatever. And we've got a swamp biome. Well, 
Man yeah, it's a mangrove swamp, isn't it? Oh, we've got some more limpets. We'll grab those. And am I going to have a little look? Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have a little look around here. Now, there is one thing on our starting island which is actually kind of valuable. And I'm gra going to grab all the twigs that I can. There's one up there, but I'm probably going to ignore that one. Um, there's one thing on your starting island which is very valuable, which is that anchor, like when where you where you start, like right at the beginning. Um, if you smash that, you'll get a boat repair kit, which is pretty valuable. There's lots of twigs around here. Oh, flint. Haha, <laughs> see, now... Flint at this stage in the game, very valuable. Very valuable. And you want all the shells you can get your hands on, basically. And you know what? These palm trees, they've got coconuts on them, so they're getting chopped down. More wood, more coconuts. Like those coconuts, 10 coconuts, feed you for like probably two days. There's a 12.5 times 20. It's like 250 health from 10 coconuts. Something like that. If my math is correct. So, uh, so yeah. Coconuts, like, awesome for feeding yourself. Grass, you can't have enough grass, ever. You use grass for all kinds of things. And, like, if we were, if we were stuck and we, we hadn't got food or whatever... Uh, you, like just craft, craft a uh, a trap, and uh, start trapping crabbits, which are dead easy to trap. Which I'll probably show you at some point. I'm sure we'll do a bit of crabbit trapping at some point. So we've got over 20 grass now. That's good. That's good. That's going well. We're making we're making pretty nice progress so far. We're uh, getting a bit hungry. And we've got a rock biome over there. That is perfect. Because that should be where we find our gold. If we don't find enough gold over there, I would be staggered. And there's a pile of gold right there. B-E-A-Utiful. Alright, we'll grab this. And it's going to give us lots of flint. Which is, of course, awesome source. So let's grab that. You know what? We might end up having uh, having our base like right here, or at, well, our initial base. It won't be where we're going to set up like permanently. There's also some pigs on this island as well, which is kind of good. Uh, how big is this rock boat by? Let's have a look. We'll grab these um, grab these flint that are lying around. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have enough gold here. We are going to have enough gold. Right. Let's um, let's just pause it for a second while I think. Uh, I'm going to need a shovel, obviously, to dig this stuff up. But we can't make a shovel until we get a science machine, right? So we need one gold just to get us started. But hopefully, in amongst the... Uh, here we go. This is what we want. In amongst these um, these nice gold piles, we get this. And all we need is a pickaxe. Now... We're a bit short of space again, so we'll eat the seeds. There we go. Darkness is going to be here soon. And let's equip the pickaxe. We'll mine this. And we're going to be spending our evening. Yeah, gold. Right. The rocks can go down. We'll collect those later. Oh, it's another gold there. That's nice. A bit more flint. A bit more flint down here. You know what? This is awesome. This is a really, really seriously awesome start. Grab that. Go away, birdies. Give me a seed. Yeah, eat that. Now, I could cook those seeds, but it kind of doesn't make too much difference. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for, like, where's the best place? I think, like, somewhere, in, like, anywhere around here. Let's put that over there. And then tonight, we'll actually put in a fire. So let's put in a fire. Uh, there. Cha-ching! So we've got a little fire going. Go away, birdie. All seeds are mine. And we'll grab that. We'll cook it and eat it. Ching. Awesome. Right. 
Uh, we want a science machine. Now, where am I going to put it? That's the question. Now, let's, um, let's have a look at the old map. So, it would have been kind of cool to have a look up here. This isn't a great place for a base, but we're going to start off with a, with, a, with a lot of gold from here. So, it's, it's actually not a problem to just um, bang in a, a science machine and, uh, and a, an alchemy machine. And it's, it's going to kind of get us going. So, we're going to do it. Um, science machine, what do I need? I need some cut stone. Right. Oh, Abigail's flower has bloomed. Awesome. This banana, we'll cook that and eat it to get that out of our inventory. There we go. Bit of health. Cures a bit of hunger. And what do I want? What do I want? I'm going to use um, these jungle tree seeds to just pop on the fire. In fact, I'm just going to bang them all on. Yeah, that'll give me lots of light. So, uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to make a uh, science machine first. Oh, I want to cut stone, so I need some stone. So let's grab a little bit of stone. One, two, three. And then, hopefully... Um, where's my refined tab? Oh! <laughs> what? Science machine, two gold, two gold, oh, four stone, four stone. There we go. Now I can craft my science machine, which we'll put, I don't know, we'll put it over. We'll put it over there, away from the, uh, the possible incoming tide. Now we get the stuff. So now I can refine stuff, and now we can make, most importantly, our shovel. Cool. Equip the shovel, and let's get digging. Ha 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 ha! I can't believe how well this is going, like straight away. Did we get any gold out of that? Oh, come on. Give me gold. You know, a gold pile should produce at least one gold, I think. Come on, don't tell me there's no gold in this one either. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I thought we were going to have like eight, ten gold. Give me some gold. None. No gold. That's three gold piles and no gold. Oh, seriously, come on. Well, we need about four to come out of this. <laughs> otherwise, we can't make the science machine. One. Oh, you're kidding me. One. Two. Okay. No, well, we've got three. Which means that we're one short of what we actually need. Uh, there's nothing over this side. No. Is there one more gold pile? Yeah, there's one more gold pile. We might just get what we need. Let's make another shovel. Oh, you know, you can't beat the beginning of, like, Don't Starve. It's just... Oh, great. That's enough gold. Cool. Right. Let's get over here. Now, we can start making cool stuff. We'll put in... Let's see. We'll put in. Uh, where's the stuff? We'll put in our alchemy machine. So we need four boards, two cut stone, two doodads. Electrical doodads we need to cut stone for. So let's get over by the science machine and we'll start refining some stuff. So um, we want to be able to make rope. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just looking at my space and I've got like no space. Uh, what can I get? Like ditch for now. Or, like, at least for now. You know what? That can go down. That, that axe we can drop for now. That'll give us a bit of room. So, uh, refine. We want boards. And now, how many how many boards am I going to need? Let's see. Uh, we need... Uh, let's see. Electrical doodads. We need... So, we just need four boards for the, for the engine. Two cut stone and two more. So, we need four cut stone, four boards. So I cut stone. Well, we need a lot more stone. So, but fortunately, there's loads lying around. Let's grab that and that bit over there. Is that enough? Let's see, refine. Yep, that's enough. Two, three, and four. And then all we need is the boards. So refine boards. That's two. 
That's three. We need one more. <laughs> it's always one more. Let's hit the Z key. Where's uh, we haven't got an axe? It's over there. Pick up the axe. Let's go chop down a tree. Let's try and find one that's got coconuts if we can. A tree with some coconut. Ah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Some more shells around here as well. Definitely going to be picking those up. Although we've got a stack of 20 and we've got two extras. Well, need another axe. Give me the axe. Give me the axe. Chiching. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. That's all we need from there. There's plenty of grass on this island as well. Like, it couldn't be too much better than it is. Right, let's... Uh, so, uh, so, hang on. I need to refine one more board, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Ching. That's one more board. So now, we should be able to craft uh, our doodads. So, get over here. Here we go. Where are we? Science. Doodads. One. And, of course, I've got no room to put it anywhere. Let's drop, uh, let's drop the pickaxe down here for now. And what was I making? Doodads, wasn't I? Yeah, science. And second doodad. And then... Alchemy machine. And the alchemy machine can go... I don't know, like... Let's put the alchemy machine over there. Now, having created the alchemy machine, uh, we can get rid of the science machine. We don't actually need it. So, um, I don't know. I might knock it down. But I might knock the whole camp down before we leave. We'll kind of see. Now, what do we need to make our cargo boat? We need three ropes, six boards. So we need to cut down some trees. Uh, and I am starving to death. So what we're going to do now is get some get some food inside us. So what can we eat? Yeah. I, you know, I think it's kind of coconut time. Let's craft a machete. Right? And then we'll put our coconuts down. Equip our machete. And then... We can just chop these coconuts in half. Right. Now, before I actually start to starve to death. Boom. Oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm slightly annoyed about that. Never mind. Um, now, I can eat like one of these just to give me a few seconds. And we'll get uh, we'll get a fire going. What do I need? I need a log. I need a log. Where can I get some wood from? There's got to be a tree around here somewhere. This will do. Well, I've got time. I've got time. <laughs> can you believe I just set fire to all the damn coconuts that I had? What a bonehead. But you know what? I've got tons of food. I've got all these limpets and things. So, let's go back over here. Now I can put in a fire. Let's put in a fire. Let's put it, I don't know, like over here. Now, I am actually starving to death. So, let's quickly cook these up. Two. Oh. Three. And. Come on. I'll pick it up. Eat. It's trying to cook it on that fire. Actually, I could have cooked it on that Krisha. Uh, let's eat this before I lose all my health. Right, there we go. That's that done. Let's go grab a bit of this stone while this Krish is quiet. And this stuff over here. And that. We'll grab that seed. Alright. So, let's get the rest of this stuff sorted out. So, let's put this coconut a bit further away. And we'll chop it in half. Cool. We'll grab this seed as well. I couldn't have picked a worse place to put my campfire. And we'll cook off these couple of seeds. And we'll... Yeah, I'm going to hang... Yeah, I'm probably going to hang on to the seaweed for now. We'll cook this stuff off. Boom, boom. Boom. And... Keep going. Cook them all off. There we go. Now, have I got any stuff that I can throw on the... Fire. Well, I've got plenty of grass. You know what? We'll throw a bit of grass on the fire. No, nope, don't, don't do that. Add fuel, add fuel. There we go. That'll get us through the night. Um. So, 
Where? Okay, so where are we after my little food burning fiasco? <laughs> God, I can't believe I did that. Oh, focus, focus. Um, yeah, so we want uh, we want our cargo, but oh, there was something else that I was going to do then. I was going to unlock something that needs unlocking. Uh, you know what? Let's see. What do we need for a backpack? Uh, we've got everything we need for a backpack, so let's make one of those. Cha-ching. All right, let's put this stuff right down here. And stone and that. And then we'll drop the pack right over here. There we go. And we'll grab our backpack. And then we'll pick this stuff up. So now we've got a bit of space. Now I could make a chest, but like I said, I want to be—I want to be mobile. I just want to go off exploring. Really, I'm kind of not worried about anything else. So I think what we're going to do is just see if we can't get crafting this boat. Um, what else was I? What else was I going to do? Oh, rope. We definitely need rope. So let's get one, two, three of those made. Uh, papyrus. I'll make those. Because again, we're, we're going to be leaving this island. We're going to le be leaving these machines behind. So we kind of just want to like get on with it and, uh, and, and research as much as we can at this point. So we've got those. Cloth we will need at some point, but we haven't come across a lot of bamboo so far. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now I'm going to grab more grass and more flint. And we'll grab these stones. Uh, I think the next thing probably is to chop down a few trees. Well, of course, none of the krishas are active. I was just going to do a bit of cooking then. And of course, none of the krishas are active, so I can't cook. Never mind. Never mind. What, do I, what the hell do I need for this boat? We need a bunch. Oh, here we go. Cargo boat. So we need um, six boards. Six boards, and each board is... Four, so six fours are twenty-four. So we need twenty-four wood. That's quite a lot of wood. I think we better go and get chopping ASAP. Fortunately, we're on a nice big island, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. We get a bit low on our health. Well, I'm sorry, on our food. So let's eat some food. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if I had set fire to all those stupid coconuts, we would have had a ton of food now. Food just wouldn't have been an issue. But, yeah, it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll get plenty more food. Food really isn't too much of an issue, I don't think, in uh, in Shipwrecked. There's just, there's like so many sources of food. Whether it's limpets or crabbits or coconuts or seaweed. There's just tons of food all over the place. Um, I'm trying to look for mature trees rather than just chopping down the, the small ones. I am still going to grab shells wherever I can. The shells are so damn useful. I think we're going to be building a cargo boat rather than a uh, rather than an armoured boat. But but still the, the shells for seashell armour just awesome. Just awesome. And we're gonna need we're gonna need, I think, plenty of armor <laughs> for, for Wendy. She's um she's quite frail. She's not like not not desperate, but she's no she's not the strongest character out there. So we're gonna have to give her some protection. And come on, there's gotta be some bigger trees around. Any bigger trees? Maybe not. Oh, this one. This one should do. We'll carry on. Grass and flint and twigs. And then whenever we do see a tree, like this one, we'll chop it down. So what did I say we needed? We need like 24 logs. That's actually, on an island like this, that's quite a lot of logs. Now, I do have my shovel. So really, I should be digging stumps up as I go. That's a good source of uh, stuff. Um, let's hit Z so that I've got all my tools nicely sorted. I've got a bunch of pig houses down here, which is good. Yeah, we'll chop this tree down. 
and there's another mature one over there. Nice. Seriously, this I this couldn't be going too much better than it is at the moment. And certainly, if I hadn't burnt the blooming coconuts, <laughs> I still can't believe that. If I hadn't burnt the coconuts, we'd be actually flying right now. But we're already starting to build up an, another coconut supply, and I'm not setting fire to them this time. I'm going to be I'm going to be a bit more responsible with my campfire building. Right, and we've got oh, we've got another couple of trees over here. Awesome. So what are we up to in wood? We've got 14 wood. Let's get another axe going. 14 wood. These two trees are going to take us up towards 20. We only need 24. So dig the stump. There are a few stumps around. So oh, there's another tree there that we can chop down. <laughs> Coconuts fall on your head and they actually do damage you. Alright, there's a bit more. We'll grab the stump. Oh, there's another tree over there. Oh, no, come on. Shovel. Dig that up. There we go. We'll get this one over here. We'll grab that seed, I suppose. Oh, and there's another tree over there. Nice. Alright, this is working out. How much stone have I got? I've got enough stone to put in a stone fireplace, so we are going to have a little bit of a base here. It's it's definitely not going to be like a, a permanent long-term base or anything, but but we will be uh, grab that, grab that, but we will be having a little base here. So let's chop these trees. There's another stump down there. And what are we up to? Well, we're up to 25, so we've got as much as we need. That's really good. I think we're going to end up cooking off that seaweed because it's going stale. Grab this stump, grab this stump down here. Chop that, well, we'll chop that tree down. And I think then we'll kind of be done for tonight. And I would have liked to have got back and put in the fire. But we'll see. I may, I, I may just, oh, we've got a tree guard. Oh, good. Oh, awesome. I'm so happy about that. Not. Okay, let's go up here. Up by the Krishas. And now, where are we going to put in our fireplace? Let's put our fireplace in. I don't know, like up here will do. Okay, so we've got a fireplace. So if those, um, if those tree guards come up here, which they very probably will, we can kind of run around or whatever. We've got a bit of room. We could, um, we could potentially, oh, oh, ouch, I didn't mean to stand there. Okay, well, I guess I'm spending my night running around. I'm down to one health. How the hell did that happen? Okay. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, don't, don't get killed by the tree guards. One hit point. It started already. I mean, we're only on episode one. It's already started. Okay. Um, we need to eat some food to get some health back. So, you know what? Let's put in a fire. Just a regular campfire up here. Let's cook off this seaweed. That's like three health apiece. And that will give us another couple of health. Oh, man, we're up to nine health. Oh, we're flying. Let's cook these limpets off. That's another one. We'll cook these coconuts. Boom, boom. That's another couple of health. Wow, we're up to 12 health. We are f absolutely flying. Oh, and those tree guards are not going to leave us alone. Like, ever. But we've got enough wood now. That we can uh, we can actually make our boat. What we don't have is the materials for a sail, which is a little bit of a problem, but we'll manage. Let's grab that. Alrighty. Uh, what did I want? Uh, I wanted to make boards, didn't I? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we've got the six boards that we need. Now, 
Well, stupid tree guard's back. I should have taken him a bit further away. Because I want to go over here and see what I need for this uh, for this boat. I think it's just six boards and three rope. In, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. One cargo boat. Let's go and put our cargo boat over here. And hey, you know what? Let's come just just jump on our cargo boat. Let's just, just get out of here. Now, so and and the next thing that we need, the next thing that we need is some bamboo so that we can make a cloth sail. So I think what we're going to do now is go off and have a bit of a sail around. We'll uh, we'll explore a little bit around here and we'll see where do we go to get uh, some bamboo so that we can make a nice cloth sail. Once we've got that, then we can just kind of pack up. I, we may even dismantle this camp. Just pack everything onto our boat and just go off sailing. I want to find the, um, the, the Seaworther, which is the, the portal that will transport us to the Reign of Giants world. That is kind of our top priority. So there you go, guys. We will leave it there. Man, what a hell of a first episode. Uh, some really good stuff, some really good tips for you, and a really boneheaded moment when I burnt all the coconuts. All right, I will catch you for the next one. I hope you're going to enjoy this series because I'm going to freaking love it. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.